animals. So let's begin. But before that, you'll be watching this video, How to Tell Wild Animals, where I have explained line by line the explanation of the poem is there along with the two devices. And I have also touched humor and theme. These are again important questions. So you go and watch this video and after that you take this test. Let's get started now. So question number one. How does the poet describe the Asian lion? The poet describes the Asian lion as a large and orange-brown beast, which one would come across in the jungles in the east. The poet further clarifies that its roar is so loud that it will take its victim on the verge of death. So, uski sirf dhaar se hi, jo uske saamne victim khada hai, wo mar jayega. Then, second is, why does the poet use dying instead of dying? The poet uses dying instead of dying to create its rhyme with lion. Actually, if we see, the pronunciation is exactly not the same. So, it's dying, whereas we pronounce L-I-O-N as lion. So, only the pronunciation, it will be exactly the same if the spellings, they are changed to lying. But still, the poet has done this to build rhyme and rhythm. So, although it doesn't rhyme exactly with lion, unless it is spelled as lying. Question number three. What striking features of the noble wild beast have been described by the poet? So, first of all, what is the noble wild beast? beast that is the Bengal tiger. So the poet reveals that while going around the jungle you may be greeted by a majestic wild beast with black stripes on a yellow ground. So in case that noble animal tries to eat you so it will help you to learn that you have encountered the Bengal tiger. So this is about the Bengal tiger. Then why has the poet used lep for leap? The poet has used lep for leap to maintain the rhythm of the poem. The poet has purposely done it to grab the attention of the readers. This figure of speech, that is, taking liberty to change the spellings, it is called poetic license. So, poetic license, it has been used in the previous question also, where the poet has changed the spellings of dying. Then, question number five. Now, we will be doing characteristics of all the animals that the poet has used in the poem. So, first one is a leopard. A leopard can be recognized from its peppered hide. In case you come across such a beast while walking in the jungle, it will leap on you and you will come to know that it is a leopard. The poet further clarifies that it is going to be no good to shout in pain because the leopard would tighten its grip even more. So, cheek ne chillane se kuch nahi hoga because poet says ki jitna cheek hoge, leopard jo hai, utti baar or jump karega aur apni grip jo hai, put tight kar lega aapke upar. So next is a bear. The poet says that you may come face to face with a bear while walking around in your yard. So you can recognize it from its characteristic hard hug. In case of any doubt, it will caress you once more. So the bear will tightly hug you and you will then recognize that it is a bear from the hug. Then a crocodile and a hyena. So the poet feels that it might be difficult for a novice to distinguish beast, sorry, to distinguish beasts of prey. One can get confused, but you can always distinguish between a crocodile from a hyena, as hyena will come with a charming smile and crocodiles will be seen weeping. So hyenas smile, whereas crocodiles weep while swallowing their prey. So you can write in, in this way also. Then next is a chameleon. Now a chameleon is small like a lizard. It doesn't have any ears and wings. It can camouflage itself amidst a tree. Thus one is not able to see it on the tree. Thus the poet creates a paradox by describing a chameleon by saying that if there's nothing on the tree, be sure that it is a chameleon. So this is the description of chameleon as given by the poet. Now if you want to know what is paradox and how it has been used in the poem, so you watch that video and listen carefully to all the little devices. Next question number six. Why does the poet call the Bengal tiger noble? The poet calls the Bengal tiger noble because of its magnificent size and striking black stripes on yellow ground. It gives the tiger a very impressive appeal. Then how is the Bengal tiger different from other wild animals? The Bengal tiger is impressive and silent. It has black stripes on yellow ground. This noble creature would attack its prey silently and devour it. Now, that is the main difference between the Asian lion and the Bengal tiger. The Asian lion, it roars loudly before attacking, whereas the Bengal tiger silently it will attack you. Then question number eight. 
what would be difficult for a novice? A novice is an inexperienced person, someone who doesn't have much knowledge about the subject. Thus, it will be difficult for a novice to differentiate between a crocodile and a hyena. A hyena eats its prey with a smile on its face, whereas a crocodile devours its prey with tears in its eyes. Question number nine. Why would a leopard jump on you again and again? Now, as soon as a leopard sees you, it will leap on you. Your shouting and pain will do no good as it will only compel the leopard to pounce on you again and again. Now, last question. Why would a bear hug you? Now, unlike other animals, a bear would not kill you by biting you or pouncing on you. It would rather suffocate you in its tight grip. So, baki ke jo wild animals hai, mujhe patta maar ke bite karenge. But jo bear hai, it will suffocate you in its tight grip. So, here the poet has used humor to describe that tight grip as a gentle hug. So, the hug is actually to kill you. So, these are the 10 important questions. Now, I'll move on to the MCQ test. But before that, you need to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So MCQ questions, these are 25 questions. So you just take a sheet, write down numbers from 1 to 25 and against every number you need to write the correct option and then match your answers. You will also be checking your performance. You know at the end you will be checking your performance. So first one, I am only reading the questions. Identify the little device in the line. A noble wild beast greets you. So what is the little device? You have to find it. Question number two. Which simple rule does the poet talk about in the poem? Next one. Which word means to recognize in the poem? So you can pause at the slide, read the options and then select your answer. Fourth one. Which little device has been used to describe a chameleon? Fifth one. What does the word ground refer to in the second stanza? Sixth. Who would you come across in your yard? Seventh. How would a bear clear all your doubts? Next, a crocodile would always be seen. Next, the peculiar feature of a hyena is, then the rhyme scheme of the poem is, 11th, what is tawny? So, the meaning of tawny you have to write. Then question number 12, which animal according to the poet is noble? 13th, what out of the following best describes the poem? 14th, the poet of the poem, how to tell wild animals is. 15th, while describing the wild animals, the poet has used. So what has the poet used to describe? 16th is, where does the poet say you would find the Asian lion? 17th, according to the poet, the Asian lion's roar. Choose your answer. Then 18th, a leopard's hide is. So again, choose your answer. 19th, what is the theme of the poem? 20th is, what is the tone of the poem? 21st, and if there should to you advance, so which literature device has been used in this given line? 22nd, the poet has changed the spellings of left to left. To do what? So you have to select. 23rd, if there is nothing on the tree, this the, sorry, this the chameleon you see. So which poetic device has been used here? 24th, which piece of prey can be easily confused? So pick your answer. The last question, the word that denotes a short leisurely walk in the poem is. So select your answer and now be ready for, the, for checking your answers. So we will check your answers first and then your performance. So here are your answers. First 10 answers. So check them and then move on to the next slide for the next 10 answers. So these are the next 10 answers. Then I have from 21 to 25. And then we'll be checking your performance. That is from the grade review chart. Here is the grade review chart. So in case you are scoring between 23 to 25 marks, so it is a thorough preparation, keep it up. In case you've got between 20 to 22, so again it's a good score, but reading between the lines is recommended. So go deeper into the meanings, understand the theme, the message, the literal meanings. So go a little deeper. Then in case you've scored between 18 to 19, so it is a fair preparation, 
or you deserve a better. So in-depth revision is required. Watch the videos and then test yourself again. So in case it is, you fall in this category, D. So change in the methodology is required. Revisiting the videos and watching them with complete concentration would be a good idea for you. So watch them again completely, carefully, listen to everything and then come back and take the test again. Now below 60% I haven't included because in MCQ test I want at least all of you to score 60% but all of you should fall in this first category in MCQ. So watch the videos carefully, you will get all the answers there. So that's all for today. So do subscribe as I've already requested. Do subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up and do check the playlist. So bye for now and happy preparation.